Hi everyone, Brianna here, and this is Wild Woman Rhapsody number 47. I'm just adjusting my camera because I really want you guys to see this incredible space that I'm in right now. This is my backyard, and a big reason why my partner and I decided to move to where we are, which is in Julian, California, is because of this, is because of this incredible nature. It surrounds our house and surrounds us, and even when we go walking on the road that leads to our house, it is surrounded by nature and I want to be super clear I do these wild woman rhapsodies for fun for myself because I love to open up on different topics and just channel and I'm not here to tell you how to be I'm not here to tell anyone how to be I'm here to hold my stand so it doesn't fall over with this incredible wind um, I'm not here to tell you the truth I am here to share my truth and what has worked for me in my life and that's how I flow I believe that each of us get to discover our own truth and that no one person has absolute jurisdiction to name everyone's truth so if you find something here that deeply resonates with you i love it and if not that's totally okay too but today what i wanted to talk about hi Brittany. it's good to see you who else is on here let me just scroll on there sarah's here awesome um amy's watching this is great i might have to go inside in a second because the wind is really starting and i don't want to get it too difficult but i really wanted to be outside to talk a little bit about the importance of being outside it's really loud in the wind amy says okay i'm gonna go back inside my office but it literally you get to see but it's just right here, just like that. Oh my God. Oh. So, I'm just gonna come sit over here. Um, I wanted to talk about a medicine that isn't spoken about very often, and especially with the power of what it actually is. You're welcome, Omar. I came I inside for you guys, but I really wanted you just to be outside with me for a second because I'm gonna talk about what it really means to understand the power of nature, understand the power of who and what we are. And it's completely free, right? And for some of us, just going outside and taking a nice deep breath of fresh air, that's part of it. Um, getting barefoot in the earth, that's another part of it. Another part of it is really learning how to commit time to spend time with the trees and spend time with the ocean and spend time with these aspects of ourself. This is the original open source neural network system of our planet. And it has a biochemical frequency, right? It has a frequency that we can tap into as human beings when we're feeling overwhelmed, when we're feeling anxiety, that is a lot of energy running through our nervous system. And nature has a way of helping us digest that energy, digest that emotional, psycho-spiritual energy. And I've been feeling um, an, a, a certain brand of anxiety coming up in my system, right? A couple days right before Easter. And I know that part of the reason why it was coming up was because we were hosting Easter for the first time at our home. Hi, Bradley. It's good to see you. Hi, Mike. It's good to see you. My partner and I were hosting Easter for the first time in our brand new home and I had this anxiety coming up. And when I say anxiety, I just mean a lot of energy in my body, a lot of energy in my spine and like I was doing physical movement every day and really starting to get into it. But it wasn't until I spent an, a half day, that's usually, I mean, it depends on how deep the feelings are, the energy and motion, the emotion. I spent a half day in nature, a half day mostly barefoot in the trees. It was completely neutralized, completely gone. And I take people on vision quest experiences. When people do one-on-one -on -one work with me, I do one-on-one -on -one work with them in nature. My partner and I take people one-on-one -on -one and two-on-one -on -one into nature. We do large and small groups into nature. And even though that's such a part of my lifestyle, I still forget sometimes how important it is for me to get off the screen and in the trees, like literally get barefoot and go be in nature because that replugs me back into that neural network of peace, of tranquility, of oneness. Nature is completely in tune with its interdependency. It's completely in tune with everything is interdependent on every other thing. So when I, as a human, start to have the consciousness of separation, I start to take myself away from different aspects of myself in the world and I start to feel disconnected or I start to feel sad or I start to feel overwhelmed it's because I'm not tapping into the oneness consciousness right to really feel the greatness the power of who and what we are as a human brother sister other relational system right we're a relational system and when I feel disconnected from that relational system that's when it feels overwhelming. That's when I feel depressed. That's when I feel anxious is when I feel separate from my other brothers and sisters, right? And nature is one of the most natural. It's com 
<laughs> I have to laugh at myself there. I just said, nature is one of the most natural. It is the only natural and the most free thing that any of us can do to navigate our anxiety, to navigate our depression, to navigate our systems is to go be in nature. Now, I believe it's it's a combination of nature and, and some other things like personal responsibility, really knowing that your inner work is the most important job that you have on the entire planet is navigating your internal reality, learning your emotional intelligence, learning your spiritual hardware and software, your internal system, and navigating any parts of yourself that still have LBSs or limiting belief systems around the magnificence of who and what you are, right? And nature combined with that inner work is the intergalactic ride into the next level of who I be and who you be. It really is the combination of allowing both of those things to come through in a deep, deep way and activating them on a whole new level. So I'm sharing this with you because I think I hear so often, you know, different types of offers, whether it's yoga or meditation or coaching or this healing or that healing. I really just wanted to come on here with Wild Rap Woman Rhapsody number 47. I've done 47 of these videos. I'm so proud of myself. Um, I set out to start making these videos as a project to not just be a consumer on social media, but to be a producer, to be a light, to be sharing. And I've created 47 of them now, and that's great. I'm really happy about that. We're starting to put them on YouTube and Facebook just to start the conversation around what is it that we can do to wake ourselves up? What is it that we can do to really become infinite consciousness? What is it that we can do to become fully invincible in ourselves and in our dreams? Because where we're at as a human species is so far behind our potential. And I say that with absolute love and absolute knowing that we're moving towards a greater directionality, that we're moving towards a greater vision as humanity, that we don't plan on staying here. I mean, my mission with these videos and in my life is to end all wars, the wars that I have within myself, the wars that we have with each other, and the, world's, the wars all throughout the world, that we get to really take our consciousness and activate it in this lifetime and make a stand, to take a stand as people who are waking up, that we are here to end the wars, that we are here as peacekeepers, that we are here as emissaries of the light, and that it is not a small job, but that the whole purpose of our inner work, the whole purpose of us getting healthy, the whole purpose of us manifesting incredible amounts of abundance, financial abundance, love abundance, all of this is about really upping the paradigm of what it means to be human and ending the paradigm of war, ending the paradigm of acquisition, ending the paradigm of suffering. That is not necessary in order for us to be human. War is not necessary. The fact that people are killing each other is not necessary. Our consciousness is greater than that. We are all one. And the best ways that you can tap into that is by doing your own inner work and getting into nature because nature has the frequency of oneness. I'm not saying that nature isn't violent. I'm not saying that nature doesn't have its conflict in order to evolve species. What I am saying is that nature resonates at the frequency of oneness. And so spending time in nature, spending time barefoot in nature, spending time breathing Breathing outside, spending time with the trees, more time, more tree time, less screen time is what the trees tell me, is what the plants tell me, more tree time, less screen time, and really remembering who we are as a species. We are an interconnected oneness mind and body. Everything that happens to every human on the planet, I can feel. And not saying that that's my responsibility. I don't have to, right? But we are one singular neural network, and pretending that we're anything other than that is a lie. Is a lie. And the suffering that so many of us feel, even though we haven't had trauma in this lifetime, is because we're connected to all the Kashuk records of all times. We remember everything that has happened. We feel everything that's happening now. And we feel what's going to happen next if we don't shift this shit now. Right? That's what it means to be an empath. It means to be able to connect with each and every one individual plus all the infinite pasts that each one of us have in all of our past generations. And we who are light workers are coming here to declare that this generation is about ending all the wars. It's about ending all the wars. I'm done with the war with myself. It has been declared over. Have you declared the war with yourself over? Right? That's what I'm inviting you into right now. Like we can end wars right now by declaring the war with ourselves over. I am no longer at war with my anxiety. I'm no longer at war with my body. I'm no longer trying to fit into a size two. I'm no longer at war with my bank account. I am no longer at war with my sisters. I'm no longer at war with my mother. I'm no longer at war with my father. I'm no longer at war with the Christian religion. I'm no longer at war with the Latter-day Saints. I'm no longer at war with anyone anywhere across all times. I'm no longer at war. And that's how we start to propagate ending the war 
on a global level. We get to declare it every day. Hi, Isaiah. Thank you, brother. It feels good to feel you. We get to declare the wars that we are ending within ourselves and the wars that we want to declare the end of with each other. Let's declare the end of the war between the Jews and the Gentiles, the Jews and the Palestinians, whoever it is, fill in the blank because they've been at war for thousands of years. Let's end the war between North and South Korea. Let's end the war between the blacks and the whites. Let's end the war between the rich and the poor. The only reason why I am activating my spiritual capacity in this lifetime is because I want to see no more war on this planet. This isn't about me activating my chakras so I can have 12 hours of orgasms. This is because I don't want my brothers and sisters to die in this lifetime anymore for useless ideas. We are one body. We are one soul. We are one mind. That is why I'm waking up. I'm not waking up so I can sell you a coaching package, but I know sure as fuck that people who work with me activate themselves in a whole other level of life, but that is only when it's fully aligned. I'm here to wake people up because I'm tired of my brothers and sisters and others dying for stupid ass shit. I'm tired of it from this lifetime. I'm tired of it from the past lifetime. I don't want to fight for the king anymore. I don't want to fight for someone who doesn't represent me anymore. I don't want to fight for oil anymore. I don't want to fight for children to be make my clothes anymore. I want to release all wars within my self, other selves, and the world itself so that we can live with heaven on earth here now. And that's the frequency of nature. That's why I get barefoot outside. That's why I get with the trees because that's the frequency that nature holds. It has violence, but it knows that it's oneness. It knows that there's an inherent conflict around what it means to be on a gravitational pull kind of planet. But it also knows that there's a next level of evolution where we as humanity get to tap into the oneness mind and understand that when someone hurts, it also hurts me. And that's what it means to be a spiritually evolving human being. You recognize that there is no other. There is no other. Yes, there are others. Yes, we want to distinguish them in the third dimension. But really what it means to activate your spiritual consciousness is to know that one who suffers is not okay in my book when there is a way out of that suffering. I know a way out of suffering. I have walked myself through the valley of the shadow of the fucking death. And I've activated levels so that I could get out of suffering. It is my duty to support others to activate themselves to get out of suffering. Because you are me. And because it feels good when we can do this together. And I can't activate heaven on earth unless every single person wakes up. Right? Come on, tribe of light. You know what I'm talking about. No one can be left behind. No one can be left in the dark. Everyone gets to wake up. Everyone gets to remember their infinite consciousness. Everyone gets to remember that they deserve heaven on earth. Everyone gets to live in abundance. Everyone gets to live with food. Everyone gets to live with peace. Just because if you and your own make it doesn't mean that everyone makes it. This is the boat called earth and there's no planet B. I love that shirt. There's no planet B. There's no plan B. This is it. And to awaken as spiritual bodhisattvas, those who've come back to the planet at this time to help others awaken, thank you. Thank you for your work. Let's remember what it actually is. It's not about selling your coaching package. It's not about looking cool. It's not about how many festivals we can go to. It's not about how many clients we can have. Those are all great third dimensional things and they're here to support the actual movement, which is helping everybody, everybody, everybody to wake the fuck up. To remember that suffering is a choice. Pain is inevitable. Suffering is a choice. And suffering is when I believe that I'm separate from anyone else. Suffering is when I believe that I'm standing in need. That the only time that I'm in sin is when I'm standing in need. S-I-N. That I think that something outside of me is going to quelch. It's going to satiate the hunger of my soul. The only thing that I want to take me to that deeper place is my connection with the divine source creator. That's it. That's the only thing that can take me there. That is the only tantric relationship that matters. That is the only raw food that I really need to focus on. That's the only om mane parme om that I need to chant. Whatever it is that gets you into that zone, knowing that you are divine source creator and that it flows through you and that you get to activate in this lifetime, heaven on earth, by being compassionate and considerate of every single person around you. That's how we make this happen. It's not a solo journey. We go together. We go together, right? If there's a forest fire, the trees hundreds of miles away know about it before it arrives to them. You know how? The neural network. And the trees start allocating water to the trees that are closest to the fire, the ones that they could still possibly save. They can call upon water from hundreds of miles away. That's the same human, that's the same neural network that we as human beings have. We can feel each other. 
You're not some magical superhero power because you can astrally project. That's your human fucking birthright. It is your human birthright to feel. It is your human birthright to be an empath. It is your human birthright to feel compassion. It is your human birthright to have magical powers of being able to feel your family and feel their feelings even before they're feeling them. To be able to presentiate, to be able to feel before it happens certain activities on this planet and in other realms because you're that connected in. That is every single human being's birthright. And this society... This time, in the past 3,000 years of disconnecting people from their power has been all about saying that the only certain people can do certain things, like only the magicians or only the priests or only these people or only these. No, only the Illuminati can access this kind of magic. No, the best way that you can access your magic is to get some time alone in nature, time and silence in nature. It is the best school. It is the truest Hogwarts. It is the, it is the deepest resonance of who and what we are is to get in the trees and i'm so grateful i'm so grateful to have moved out here i'm so grateful to have listened to what spirit told me more tree time less screen time and i'm coming back on the screen to remind us all the best thing that you can do for your system the best investment that you can make is alone time in nature where we're at as a human species where we're at as a human community, the, the nature deficiency that is currently running through our human system, get out in nature and send it to all of the brothers and sisters who are stuck in metal boxes, who are stuck in cement boxes, who are stuck in, in their job boxes, who are stuck in their car boxes. Get into nature and send it to all the human beings who are stuck in another dimension, who are stuck in the idea that they can't be free, that only when they retire can they do what they want, or they have to save for a rainy day, or that there's this idea that they're going to get money and then they go on vacation and then they get rid of charge so they can go back into their boxes. That's the lie. That's the fucking lie. It's our birthright to do whatever the fuck we want with our life, to create heaven on earth by living our deepest joy, our deepest joy, our deepest gifts, our truest heart. That is our birthright. That is not for the select few. That is not just for the entrepreneurs. That is not just for the rich trust fund kids. It's about how do we create a life where the most waking hours I'm doing the majority of what I want to be doing. Yeah, there's going to need to be some details that we take care of. Some things here and there, you know, dancing, especially with the current society we have. We have to dance the dance. We're playing Monopoly. Remember, let's win. But that the majority of my hours can be contributed to the joy of my heart. That's when you're truly out of slavery. That's when you're truly out of slavery. You're only truly out of slavery when you can declare your human life, the majority of your waking hours, you're doing exactly what your heart wants. At any time, no matter what the scenario is, whether you're in the poorest pores or the highest highs, whether someone in your family is dying or you're dying, if you can say that I choose the majority of my hours to be in my joy, I choose the majority of my hours to create the highest possible outcome for my life, I choose the majority of my hours to be a living prayer to the divine source creator that is my breath in every moment, that is true joy. That is the only time we can live true joy is when we are consciously channeling it into our system. When we are deeply on purpose and deeply connected to the love of our life. Deeply on purpose, we know our mission, we know our vision, we know that we're here to activate every individual who comes in contact with us to remember who they are in the oneness consciousness and that we are here to activate more people to activate them out of suffering. Right? Our purpose. And our love, that we're sharing it with our beloveds, our sisters, our brothers, our mothers, our fathers, our friends, that we have a tribe of people who support us and we can support. It is that dual relationship with the two wheels of what it means to be in true joy, right? The true joy is that deep connection to purpose and that deep connection to love and feeding those two create the mechanism of joy in your life. <sighs> so get outside <laughs> and clear up anything that doesn't activate your highest joy. It doesn't get you exactly on your purpose or exactly in the zone of love. Those are the two, I love this metaphor. Those are the two horses of the chariot that you're on, the chariot of joy of your life. The two horses are your deep, deep purpose, your mission on this planet, and your true love, your truest love, what it means to be you, what it means to be alive, what you really care about, what you really love. And you're feeding those two to take you far in this joy of life chariot. And you get to activate those two in everything that you do. Oh. <sighs> Please share this video if it moves you. Don't if it doesn't. Thank you for being with me. It's Wild Woman Rhapsody number 47. I'm creating a really special program right now for women. 
who want to activate their zone of genius with their sacred business. And I'm doing it as almost like an experimenting process. So if you would like that, just PM me, private message me, or put a fire emoji in this box, a triple fire emoji, fire, fire, fire. And I'll PM you about this special opportunity for women who want to activate their money magic through their sacred business. Um, other than that, the best thing that you can do today is get outside because that's what I'm about to do right now. I love you all. Love to all, light to all, peace to all, love to all, peace.